It'd be nice if the time machine finished charging sometime soon. Are you good to go? The machine still needs a bit of time to charge, so... The machine's finally got enough energy for another round trip. Now you can go back and help the others. I hope they're all safe. I'm sure they are. Maybe they've already defeated the androids and brought peace back to the world. If that's the case, it might be nice to bring the others back here with me. The time machine only has room for one person. But I can totally see the others cramming their way in anyway. Goku would jump at the chance to take on more powerful opponents. <laughs> You're right. Based on what I saw of him, he would probably be excited to come here. But if they haven't defeated the androids, you're planning on joining in on the fight, aren't you? Just be careful, okay? Don't get yourself killed. I won't. And you stay safe too, Mom. I'll make it back in one piece. I can't rest until our world is at peace too. And so, Trunks made his way back to the past. Little did he realize that waiting for him there were two completely different androids, as well as less ruthless, but still dangerous androids 17 and 18. And to make matters worse, Cell, a bio-android far deadlier than the other androids, had appeared and threatened all life on Earth. But thanks to Goku and the others' training, as well as Gohan's transformation into something beyond that of a Super Saiyan, Cell was defeated. With peace now restored in the past, Trunks returns to the future, more experienced and determined to save his world. Mom, I'm back. Welcome home, Trunks. Wait just a minute. Look at you. They say kids grow up fast, but this is ridiculous. I trained in a special place called the Hyperbolic Time Chamber. It's on Kami's lookout. One year inside is only a day on the outside. Not really sure how that works, but at any rate, I'm just glad you're back and doing okay. So, did everything work out? That look on your face tells me it did. It did. Oh, so Goku still ended up dying in the end. Well, at least Gohan was able to avenge him. Yeah. Oh, and you were right about Father. He wasn't just a cold-hearted person after all. Huh? When I first saw him fight, I honestly thought he was just a ruthless, selfish person. You know what I mean? If you and baby me were ever in danger, he didn't try to save us. All he cared about was his opponent. Oh, Vegeta. Can't say I'm all that surprised, though. <laughs> but during the year me and him trained together, he was more focused on the moment. He was tough on himself and even seemed a little lonely. Right. Now that I think about it, he could be like that at times. He wouldn't spar with me at first, but eventually, he grew to acknowledge my power. We would have serious sparring matches, and sometimes even conversations. Conversations? About what? Um, well, I say conversations, but it was really just me talking to him, not with him. He would only reply with, I see, or, Mph. The conversations never really went anywhere. Jeez, <laughs> that's Vegeta for you. But, right as our training was coming to an end,
Trunks tells Bulma of his time in the past, specifically when Cell, eager to increase his power, began draining the population of their energy. Nearly a year inside the hyperbolic time chamber had passed since Vegeta and Trunks first entered and began their training to defeat Cell. Come at me at full power. Okay, father. Here I go. I shouldn't have to say this, but do not hold back. I won't. Believe it! Still not enough. Are you talking about yourself or about me? Just shut up and fight! Get back! Take this! I guess you've gotten a little better. Not compared to you, though, Father. You can leave yourself over. Damn it! How can I let myself get fired out? This is everything I've got! You fight! Very well. That should be enough for now. But I'm still far and dry where I should be. You even more so. Father! You know, it's almost been a year since we started our training. We should probably get ready to give the room to Goku and Gohan. No! Not until I achieve the absolute power I deserve. I intend to use every second we've got in here. But you've already broken the Super Saiyan barrier. Are you trying to push yourself even further? <laughs> if I plan on destroying Cell and finally putting Kakarot in his place, then I need to be stronger! I'm not going to get through to him at this point. He won't stop training until he's the one who's satisfied. Father, is surpassing Goku more important to you than defeating Cell? <laughs> You've got it a bit wrong. What I want is simply to be number one. Kakarot just happens to be an obstacle between me and my rightful place at the top. And what's worse is that he's a Saiyan like me. Trunks, as a proud Saiyan yourself, you should never set limits on the power you can attain. You should always strive to be the best. But know this, as long as I'm around, you're going to have fierce competition. Father, this might actually be the first time he's given me fatherly advice, if you can call it that. This obsession with power. Goku loves to fight powerful enemies too. Maybe it's a pure-blooded Saiyan thing. In my world, all I could think about was defeating the androids. Restoring peace was more important to me than the pursuit of strength. You said that Gohan was the only one who trained you, right? <laughs> he's just as soft and naive as Kakarot. No, he's not. What's even more concerning, though, is that I was killed by the androids in your time so easily. Me, the Prince of the Saiyans. Huh? Don't be satisfied with simply beating the androids and restoring peace. Those are short-sighted goals at best. I'm going to push myself harder. And I won't stop until I am number one. If you do the same, and you aim for something better, I'm sure you'll have no problem with the androids. Father! You're right. I'll do what I can. I see. So that's what he told you. Why does he have to encourage him in such a roundabout way? I actually tried talking to him about other things, too. But when I asked him when he started to develop feelings for you, he got really angry and told me to stop asking dumb questions. <laughs> also, 
In the fight with Cell, he got really angry when Cell killed me. Wh what did I tell you? I told you he wasn't that bad. Yeah. Wow, was that really my Vegeta? I never knew he had that side to him. Oh, what a relief. I'm glad to hear things ended well over there. I'm relieved too. Looks like going to the past was a good call. The past may be at peace now. But our world here is still in turmoil. Because of androids 17 and 18. I can't let them get away with this anymore. We interrupt this program to bring you news on the android crisis. Androids 17 and 18 are currently laying waste to... The androids. This ends today. I'll be back, Mom. Trunks, are you sure you can do this? I'll be fine. This is the whole reason I went back in time and met Goku, Gohan, my father, and the others. The past has its peace now. We deserve our own. Be careful, Trunks. Please don't get yourself killed. Of course. And this is it. I can finally avenge Gohan and the others. about to end. If only you could be here to see this, Gohan. Okay, they look pretty weak. Powerful thanks to my father, Goku, and the others. The androids are going down.
If the androids hadn't shown up, this place would have more people. You're throwing a little temper tantrum because you lost the game. Shut the hell up! I don't want to hear a peep from you! Seventeen! Eighteen! This is it! This is the day you finally pay for what you've done! Trunks? So you're alive, huh? Makes sense, I guess. You always were a little too dumb to give up. Seventeen, I'm in a really bad mood. 
I know you want to mess with him, but I'm just going to kill him right now. Because he's annoying as hell. It won't be as fun without him around. But sure, okay. Go for it, 18. This has gone on far too long. Ever since you two first appeared, every day has been like hell as we struggled to survive. Hmm. So what's your point? The versions of you I met when I traveled to the past were actually kind of nice. But here, you've done nothing but destroy towns and cities and murder countless people. You're gonna pay for it! Oh my god, would you shut up? Let's do this! What? This is it! Here! Take this! Get! What the hell? Why am I struggling like this? I'm not like I was when you fought me before! Damn! Now you're really asking for it! You still haven't suffered nearly as much as we have! Take this! I'm about to let that happen! Suffer! Suffer for all the pain you caused! Wow, 18. You're getting kind of sloppy. Ugh. Damn it! I've had enough of this little punk! I'll take both of you on at the same time! What's going on? Something's different about him. Let's do this! You two are finally going to meet your end! You hear me? Hmm. You're crazy if you think that's gonna happen. Let's go, Seventeen! Finish! Here it comes! Ah. 
It's over. I finally did it, everyone. Wait, not yet. There's still one thing left. Just over three years later, with 17 and 18 gone, people have begun to rebuild cities and towns that were ravaged by the androids. Trunks was eager to inform those in the past of his success. So with the time machine fully charged, he prepared for another trip. All right, Mom, I'm off. Have a safe trip, Trunks. Tell everyone I said hi. Sure. You need to leave, Mom. Head somewhere safe. Huh? Uh, oh, okay. I know you're over there, Cell. What? You plan on killing me, then traveling to the past to absorb Androids 17 and 18 and obtain your perfect form. How? How could you possibly know that? Your plan's going to fail, because I'm going to finish you off once and for all. My plan's going to fail, is it? <laughs> well, you're awfully cocky. So, your perfect form was insanely strong. There's no doubt about that. But as you are now, I'm more than enough to destroy you. Oh, I get it. So you went back to the past. I see. That's why you know so much. <laughs> Such a sneaky guy. But I have to say, I'm surprised to hear you say you can destroy me. Trunks, I have plenty of data on you thanks to my spy robots. <laughs> you idiot! You don't have enough power to lay a finger on Android 17 and 18, let alone me! Pathetic! Oh? Then why aren't 17 and 18 around anymore? What? Impossible! So you're the reason the two of them are gone! It's because of you! We're not fighting here in West City. People have worked too hard to rebuild. I'm taking this fight somewhere else. Cell, so, I'm going to defeat you and put an end to all of this. What? 
formed yet. This is my chance. Okay, they look pretty weak. I can't let him travel to the past. Okay, they look pretty weak. There you are. You may be a bit stronger than before, but if you think you can beat me, well, you're kidding yourself. You're weak! I'm going to make sure you don't go to the past. You pathetic child! I am the ultimate android, created by the great Dr. Jerome! Scientifically impossible for anyone to best me. Here comes the What? Give it up, Cell. You're done. Damn you for robbing me of Android 17 and 18. I deserve perfection. You got to ah! 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 No! No! What? Tremble before my awesome power. Ah! It's over. That's the final loose end. Thanks, everyone.
trunks! Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Now I have even more good news to share with everyone. They're gone, Gohan. The androids are finally gone. And I promise to make sure the peace you and all the others fought for lasts as long as possible. Trunks' long, hard-fought struggle with the menacing androids had finally come to an end. No more would humanity live in fear now, the people of Earth would know true peace. And, as long as Trunks is able to fight, this newfound peace will surely last. Cha 
A few years have passed since Trunk's defeat of Cell. The survivors of the android onslaught have continued to rebuild their towns and cities, and their lives have finally returned to normal. Now free from the fight for survival, Trunks also spends his days living a peaceful life with Bulma. Where to next? Hmm. Mom still hold up here. 